Don't you mess, I got a whole squad with me. We coming for you. What is up, Big Eliminators? It's your boy, Big LED, and I'm back again painting portraits of my favorite musicians in watercolor. In case you didn't know anything about this journey, here's a recap for you. I started a challenge, a challenge for myself to get better at using watercolors. I can't resist it. And in this challenge, I'm going to be drawing some of my favorite musicians. The little boy in me wants to paint everything and this is a big confusion. Well, let's say the names of my favorite musicians have been written on little sheets of paper and folded into tiny bits and put into this box. A mystery box, you can call it that. And in every episode, I'm going to be picking out one sheet and on that sheet, whichever name comes up, that's the person I'm going to be drawing. So now we're on the same page. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so right now so that we can go on this journey together. So if you had to guess who do you think it's gonna be? You know, I know I have a strange collection of musicians that I think I admire, but there's only one way to find out, so let's not waste no time. Who is that? We see Arthur! Oi, 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 oi! So we have a name now, Kwesiata, son of Jacob. I'm going to look for a great reference and then I'm going to get straight into the sketching. You know we don't like to waste time on this channel, so without much ado, you know how we do. Maska! trying to get my proportions right so I threw a grid on this reference so I'm trying to create a grid roughly on the sheet of paper I have here and then um, hopefully my proportions will be better than they have been in the previous videos so I have my good grid set up <laughs> I'm gonna gradually start up the sketch I don't think I like how this grid thing is going and I'm not enjoying it Maybe it's my first time, that's why. But let's see how it turns out in the end. Maybe it might become my favorite way of making drawings. I can see that the magic of the grid is beginning to come out. But well, that's something to appreciate. One of Kwesi's stories that inspires me a lot is how he found an opportunity to make music when unfortunate circumstances prevented him from going to the university when all his other colleagues were going. He could have postponed the dream and chased after school, just like I did, with valid excuses, but he kept on going. Wherever you find yourself, remember that there's an opportunity to change your destiny by doing the things that you really love. At a certain point in my life, I wanted to be a digital artist. I had learned a little bit of Photoshop and digital art was going on me. So I was using a desktop at the time, a very old one. So I saved up to buy a graphic tablet. And then, unfortunately for me, my PC broke down. For a long time, I can say about 5 years, I couldn't replace it. So I kept on postponing my dream of doing digital art. And then eventually, I became fed up of waiting and decided to do traditional artworks. Which was me doing art with what I could afford at the time and it was fun. Fast forward, I managed to buy a laptop earlier this year, but I'm having so much fun doing these traditional paintings that I do not even feel pressured to get into the digital stuff yet. I can't believe I wasted all those years making excuses when the answer was right in front of me. And I found myself around the Malcolm shop and roaming through the art session I found these watercolor pens um, I do not know their use I have not used them before but I'm hoping I can you know do something fun with them today So it's just left with a few pages for the sketchbook to be done. Um, so I decided to use the last few pages for this challenge. But I'm realizing why this sheet is not the best kind of sheet for watercolor painting. So in my next hunt for supplies, I'm hoping to get some watercolor sketchbooks. Which I'm hoping will make my paintings more, you know, vivid. And will prevent my paper from having that damp look. But still water so you cannot run away from the effects of water. So while I leave the face to dry, I'll move on to other parts of the drawing.
dreams. No matter what go happen, we'll be just fine. They know about me when so back when I don't know how it feels. Charlie, I don't know how it feels, so they don't want me to say what's wrong. Too much love for the people. So I found use for this watercolor pens. Yeah, I'm using them to darken the hair. And um, it's going on smoothly. So guys, all too soon we've come to the end of another beautiful journey of watercolor painting. And um, yo, the skills are improving, I can tell you that for a fact. I'm not an expert at this, I'm learning and I'm hoping you are learning something too from these videos. So ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, I present to you a watercolor painting of the last son of Jacob, Kwesi Ador.